And they're ready. They're off. They race with six furlongs then. Coming out of the gates, Rumstar from seven was a little slower than the others for this Bet Victor Carnarvon stakes. Desert Cop and Shaquille are the first two to go through. Rousing Encore, the best turned out winner, Light Blue Jacket, is keen in behind them. Further Shomets in the blue and white on the cap is Rabba. The blue and orange is Aesop Fables. He'd be just about in fourth position. Then Rumstar, the light blue and yellow. Noble Style, the favourite is the back marker of these seven runners as already they move down to the halfway stage. It continues to be Shaquille and James Doyle who have a narrow advantage over Desert Cop running in second position. Then Rabba, blue and white on the cap towards the right in third. Noble Style is still last as they go past the two furlong marker. Rousing on call, Rumstar and he's at fabled behind those. Shaquille heads down then to the final furlong. Desert Cop in second position. These are pulling clear now from Rabar and the Nisab's Fables. It's still Shaquille out in front, a length and a half the margin, and it's going to be a winning one. Shaquille and James Doyle have won. Desert Cobb is in second. Noble Style has joined Aesop's Fables. It's very tight for those, but only for third and fourth. James Doyle wins a Carnarvon on Shaquille. What's your, your feeling about the, the quality of this horse? Well, I thought he had a lot of quality at Newmarket when I rode him last time. Not too many horses that kind of go through the race the way he did and then come out the other side of it so dominant. Today, very impressed with him. Same thing again, he, he wants to be fast and he doesn't like to be interfered with too much. So you just find that happy medium with him, which we did find after a furlong. He settled into it good, albeit just slightly doing a little bit much, but that's just his nature really. But when you ask him to go and win his race, he tries and um, I thought it was a real real tough dominant display today on different conditions you know Newmarket last time was very deep so he has one on quicker surface but up in grade it was a question mark and I thought he, he passed his test today with flying colours. Did he feel a different horse in the prelims to Newmarket? Similar like he, he's always um, he's always going to be hard work you know everyone does a fantastic job look Steve um, takes him around the paddock unfortunately he, he wasn't able to get here till quite late on so the lady who rides him out at home I don't know her name uh, I'm sorry but she um, she knows him inside out so she led him around and he was good as gold went out onto the track well went down nicely Craig Witherford then picked him up at the gate so everyone has their part to play yeah. and obviously it's hard not to think about the Commonwealth after doing what he's done today the occasion's completely different isn't it so that that will have to be a question mark and I guess Obviously, we'll see what the guys would like to do, but I don't think we'll know until we, we try, you know. What did you come here thinking with a horse like Noble Style in the race, who you know well? Did you feel you had a shot of beating that? Well, I was very impressed with his run, Noble Styles, in the guineas. Like he, he was a little bit fresh, tanked through the race and didn't quite get home. So I, it, I thought it'd be interesting. I did really rate this horse. Um, I was delighted with what he showed me. Like I say, there's not too many horses that can tank along and, and be dominant at the line. So I knew he was pretty good, but obviously there was a couple of different question marks. Slightly busier day today, um, quicker surface, but he, he's, I expected him to be bang there. I knew that he, he wouldn't be beaten far if we did get picked off by, by one. Cheers, James. Well done. Thanks. Thanks. Well, Shaquille has won the, the Carnarvon. Assistant trainer of Shaquille, Steve Brown, is with me. Uh, well done. This horse is really progressing. Well, did you expect something like that? We were hopeful. I think he's a fascinating horse because I've never seen him come racing and do everything right, yet he still manages to win. And I think that was the point James made at Newmarket. He's done lots wrong and, and won nicely. Um, so you reach a stage at some point where you've got to turn the water. Didn't quite anticipate taken on last year's gym crap winner I'll be honest I thought it was a little bit tougher than it might have been on paper but it's worked out well he, he, I think the difference is as a two year old he was quite lightly raced and in, in, in a you know sort of low company and these other guys have, have been to the bigger gigs so we, it's possible we had more progression that's what we hoped. How much work have you had to do with him just to just, you know in the prelims going into the stalls early part of the race? Yeah, um, big shout out to Craig Witherford and Jake who've done a great work with him in the stalls everyone saw um, Good Friday, which was a appalling day. Um, so Paige rides him every day, and he, he's great. It, at home, it's hard for people to understand because he's like an old bumper horse walking around the place. Doesn't take a hold like a lamb. Turned out every day. Uh, we built a paddock for him, especially for him. And he's very, very low maintenance at home. And it's when he comes here we see a different side of him. Um, he's got better. 
He's, uh, I should mention Graham Lee, who's, who's ridden him in his early races, ridden him in two or three race courts. Gallops did a, a stalls test on him. You know, when he's come down south, James has jumped on him, and Graham's been very gracious and helped James, uh, as I'd expect from Graham, who's, a, who's the ultimate professional. So it's all coming together slowly, um, step by step. That's what we wanted to do, and today's another good day. Royal Ascot next? Um, we'll speak to Martin. It's heading that way, isn't it? Yeah. I think you're going to get sort of, I think people would expect us to be there now. Um, obviously, there's the Group 2 next week, the Sandy Lane, isn't there, at Haydock, and we'll learn more then, but, it, you know, we're not a 33 to 1 shot, so we should be there, I feel. No, you're, you're, you're about a quarter of that now. Mm. Would, do, would, the, would the atmosphere there worry you for him? Yeah, definitely. That's why we wanted to come here, sort of an interim step from where we've been racing. We obviously went to Newmarket on Guinea's Day, and he behaved pretty well. He's been OK today. Um, he's been he's been probably good. He needs to find some more emotional intelligence again to handle Royal Ascot, doesn't he? You know, we, we all know what it's like there. We just hope he can. Um, so I think we're, we're probably where you'll see us next if Martin's happy. Good stuff. Well, he's not short on ability, is he? Well done. Thank you very much. Cheers. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.